Prophet Nuh in Indian traditions. Prophet Nuh is unanimously accepted as the prophet associated with the great flood among the people of the book. For Muslims, the Quran describes this event in Surah Hud, Ayah 36 to 44. For Christians, the Bible describes this great flood in detail in the book of Genesis chapter 7. Surprisingly enough, our Hindu brothers too can quote in support of this event. Matasya Purana chapter 1 and 2 and Bhavishya Purana Pratisarg Parv chapters 4 to 7 speaks about the great flood of Noah. Excerpts from these Hindu scriptures tell how God ordered Noah, mentioned as Nu or Manu, to build a boat and put creatures into the boat and how the subsequent great flood destroyed life in Bharatvarsh or India. Matasya Purana chapter 1 and 2 Notice that Vedas and Manu are referred together in reference of Matasya Purana. Bhavishya Purana Pratisarg Parv Chapters 4 to 7 We observe the following facts. The Quran speaks about Prophet Noah and the Great Flood. The Bible speaks about Prophet Noah and the Great Flood. Hindu scriptures speak about Prophet Noah and the Great Flood. Words new and Manu are used. There is another surprise. The word Nu exists in Sanskrit dictionary. And do you know what it means? It means boat. Therefore, Prophet Noah is strongly associated with flood or boat. Noah is the prophet of ark or boat. All these different scriptures are talking about the one same event. Must be that same one God told about this important event to different people in different eras through different prophets. Let us look at this issue from a different perspective. French writer A.J.A. Du Bois studied Hindu religion and Indian civilization for 40 years and wrote an authoritative book, Hindu Manners, Customs and Ceremonies. Here are a few interesting observations from the book. Mahanuvu escaped the calamity of flood in an ark. Maha means great and Manu is undoubtedly the same as no. India was inhabited very soon after the great flood or deluge which made a desert of the whole world. The great personage or Manu who was saved along the seven rishis or penitents was no other than the great No himself. Word Manu has been used for a number of Hindu religious personages but the Manu who figures most in Puranas, the Vedas and the other Hindu scriptures is undoubtedly Prophet No himself. The Vedas mention Prophet No as Manu at 75 places. An English translator of the Vedas, Griffith, writes the explanation of the word Manu in one of the mantras as the man par excellence or the representative man and the father of human race, regarded as the first institutor of sacrifices and religious ceremonies. 
can you see the strong relationship between Prophet Noah, India and Hindu scriptures? Stay tuned for more on the subject.